What's up riders, old man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, you know one of the biggest questions I get on my YouTube channel, my Facebook or Instagram or whatever social media I get, and I get a lot of emails as well too, is, is this bike gonna be good enough for North America? Well, let me answer a few of those questions. Stay tuned. You know, I do get a lot of questions on this motorcycle. Now, this one in the Himalayan, and of course some of the Harleys too. But probably the biggest one that I get from folks here in the U.S. and Canada and Mexico is, is this bike going to make it here? Is this bike good enough for North America? You know, we've got all these gigantic super highways running around, and you know, this is just a little 349cc bike. Will this bike be good enough? Will it be able to take it? Can it cope? Because <laughs> I think I've got a unique perspective on what this bike can and cannot do. And it's based upon pretty much 50 years of riding in America and beyond. Hey, I turned off my turn signal. One of the first things I want to talk about is uh, some of the pros. But this bike gets fantastic fuel economy no matter what you say it's it's going to do you well and that's really important right now in north america because fuel prices are way up there and we here in north america aren't used to those kind of high prices and uh, you know we've got our lifestyle set just like everybody else does everybody's got their lifestyle set for the the average cost around them and ours has taken a gigantic jump here in the last uh, last year and a half and uh, we uh, we don't really like it <laughs> we're spoiled and we like to admit it but uh, that's, that's one thing I wanted to touch base is that, that fuel economy is just so fantastic. But what else does this bike do really well here in North America? This bike does amazing as far as running 90% of the roads here in this part of the world. And I mean 90% because we're going to talk at the end about what it cannot do. But right now we're going to talk about what it does and what it does really well. Well, it does really well in roads like we've got right here. This is a, uh, 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 I would say, a third airy, not a secondary road. But it, it's a road that doesn't have any... Uh, uh, center line and it's usually 35 or miles an hour or less and this road here in particular I'm on has got a tremendous number of corners and curves on it and they're blind so you really have to watch what you're doing but that's perfect for this bike because this bike is so light and nimble that it uh, it kind of thrives I actually saw a pretty cool article in a uh, major motorcycle magazine here a couple months ago and I wanted to rephrase or you know refrain from mentioning it but they really mean it this bike handles like a scooter and uh, but with a motorcycle size and engine and I think that is a really important really important aspect of what this bike is capable of doing it just it handles so nimbly now there's a lot of small bikes on the market that handle well too but when you start mixing the great fuel economy with the way this bike is built as far as the fit and finish and you guys watch that video and I'll put a little link and a little card here in the corner uh, about my uh, 1,000 mile uh, uh, review of this motorcycle this is going to talk about a little bit about the same thing that we are going to talk about today but this thing just does fantastic and it does that well because of it's the way it's built this thing is built I'd say like a tank uh, but we're gonna use what Royal Enfield says it's built like a gun I mean there you uh, the company goes back to 1901 and uh, there's a lot of history there and they've always taken pride in building high quality products and I'll tell you ever since I would say Oh, maybe 10 years ago, the quality of this motorcycle brand has gone through the roof. And it is probably one of the best built motorcycles on the planet right now. I know it's one of the largest motorcycle manufacturers on the planet right now. But it really, really does reflect in the way the fit and finish, in particular this Meteor and, and my Himalayan that I ride all the time. And, you know, it, it rivals anything out there, in my humble opinion. Uh, you know, we're on some back roads here, and, and they're kind of a little bit bumpy, and uh, I still have the uh, the shock set for uh, for two up. I didn't drop them down for today's video, and if I wanted a little bit smoother ride, I would uh, lower the, uh, the shocks a little bit, the rear suspension, to give me a, a little more forgiving, a little softer. Now, if I was going to do this road exclusively, I would definitely set the suspension down a little bit, and I would also lower the air pressure in the tires. That's why I carry that Aeromoto, baby. 
You have to match your situation on any motorcycle where you're riding. You know, a lot of people, what they do is they buy a bike and they really don't know how to adjust things for the given situations that they're in. And I think that's where they get most of the bad uh, bad taste in their mouth about certain motorcycles. Is they, if they have it set up for the city and they're riding in the country, they're not going to be as happy as if they're riding uh, the bike that's set up properly by lowering the, you know, working on the suspension. Now, like on my Harley Davidson, on my Road King, I've got an air suspension in it. And I can adjust that air suspension based upon on road conditions based upon uh, based upon uh, uh, the load I've got and and I think everybody really that rides motorcycles should pay attention to that maybe I should do a video on how to set your bike up for road different roads and I might do that in the next uh, video or two we'll have to see so we've covered quite a bit today on what makes a good bike for North America and that basically is in my opinion uh, something that gets good gas mileage, something that is very fuel efficient, easy to work on, something that handles really well, something that has adequate speed and, uh, um, you know, ability to do certain things on uh, certain roads. And, yeah, and again, that's one of the things you have to ask yourself is what, uh, what kind of roads are you going on? What type of roads do you primarily drive on? Hey, I turned my turn signal on. You know, if you're driving the back roads and the country roads and the back country roads and the city streets, primarily, this bike will do it. Well, what won't she do? <laughs> well, she'll do it, but will she do it well? And that's what we're going to find out right now. We're taking it on a 70 mile an hour highway right now, and we're going to jump her up uh, not going to go overly fast as far as uh, acceleration, but I'm going to do everything she's capable of doing. And we'll see what happens. We're at uh, 60 miles an hour right now. Just shifted into fifth gear. And we're approaching 70. And we're at 70 miles an hour right now. And that is the speed limit. Now, I guarantee you, we're going to have cars pass us. Because that's exactly what this bike is maxed out at about 70 miles an hour and in fact I've lost a little bit of speed going up this hill I'm down to 65 miles an hour so she does have her limitations if you're doing this kind of long distance trip on 70 mile an hour roads yeah that's that's where it's not going to give you a, a, a lot of joy you're not going to be able to be as efficient with the bike. Now right now I'm going downhill and I'm doing 75. So it uh, it's going to do what it's going to do. But as far as this bike being a highway cruiser, now she's not going to be a highway cruiser. Hey, what was that? Did you guys see that? Well, if you did, tell me what time it went across because uh, now that the sunglass uh, giveaway is gone, we're going to do another giveaway. We're going to give away some Old Man Ronin t-shirt. So tell me what time you saw the little motorcycle scoot by. Tell me uh, uh, in a comment and also in an email. And of course, the email is always oldmanronin at gmail.com. And tell me what time you saw it and you'll be entered. We're going to give away one t-shirt a week. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. It was a lot of fun making despite the colder weather. <laughs> I'm turning into a sis. What's up with that? Well, if you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys. Ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.